Everything. Uh, happy Sabbath. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, Toronto Swahili Fellowship, and uh, we essentially represent the the Swahili-speaking communities from East Africa. If you see the map, Africa like this, we are from the east, this side, and the East Africa speaking Swahili countries include but not limited to Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Congo, Burundi, Rwanda, South Sudan, uh, and uh, partly uh, Zambia. Partly Zambia and uh, Malawi. And the Ethiopians, they try, but they, they miss some you know, the sweet, language, the, the sweet part of the Swahili. Yes. And uh, the Christmas is, uh, is as old as uh, Christianity came to Africa. But uh, in Africa, you know, we didn't have something called Christians, Christian, Christian or Christmas. But uh, it came through the colonial system. People used to be given food on those Christmas days, and then people go home. So people go home and meet, and they celebrate Christmas. It did have a very uh, significant meaning because there was not so many Christians coming up. But in most cases, as in secular as also in Christians, it had a meaning of bringing people together. So people come from different parts of the country where they were living. When it is Christmas, they come home. There is no way you can be away from home during Christmas. So Christmas seems like uh, it was a, a point of unity or a date which unifies people when they come home. If you come to Africa, you will see let me say maybe about 10 years uh, or 15, 20 years, you could see people meeting in different homes, families. People meet families, and some parts they meet as a village, the old village. And uh, they slaughter cows, they slaughter goats, they eat. If you don't have a goat, cow, or something, you will not miss a chicken in your family. And so chicken... We, in those days, we used to enjoy chicken, you know, before we became Christian. Some of us don't eat chicken, something like that. We used to enjoy eating chicken because at Christmas evening, you, you find like there's chicken in every home. You can smell chicken almost every family. And so we used to like that time of, you get soup, chicken, and uh, food, which is called ugali. And also something called chapati, which is found in India. And above all, there's something called mandazi. Yeah? Can you say mandazi? mandazi? Wow. We have a few we prepared there. It's called mandazi. It's uh, like in Jamaica, they have dumpling. It looks like dumpling, but it's so delicious. <laughs> so every family, if your family doesn't have mandazi on Christmas, you are considered like you are cast. So mandazi was a very common food in every home. We are not going to sing mandasi here. Huh? As, as you see, we are Christians. And uh, uh, we are going to sing Christian song. Unfortunate enough, we don't have Christ Christmas carol, just like some of you sing it. So 
in church. We never, actually, I don't see most churches in Africa, we don't celebrate Christmas. So we grew up, uh, some of us in Catholic, that's when we used to go to Catholic church very early in the morning, but come back home to eat mandas. So we, we grew up knowing Christmas is just mandasi. If uh, you move from, every, so when we were kids, you eat mandasi every since from 24th evening up to 1st January. Every home is filled with mandasis. So are you going to come to Africa and eat mandasis? Okay. So this group is going to sing two songs. One is uh, about Christ. Let Christ be called Christ. Amen? And another one from the church hymn, Wavunaji uh, Watafrai, the reapers will be happy when they come to Jerusalem with souls. Amen? So welcome and enjoy the Swahili. You remember Swahili, I think uh, last time we were here, when we say hi, then you say jumbo. You remember? When we say jumbo, what do you say? Mzuri sana. I told you last time, akuna matata. Yes, yes. Jambo akuna matata. Welcome. <laughs> Mm 
na simu ingi atarejea shika ulicho nacho ni wakati wa tabu yote yalionenwa sasa yatimia yatosha sasa yatosha kurudi kwake